Wow. Hey everyone, Frosted Snow here. I just posted my first YouTube video uh, on my channel and I also posted a preview on my Instagram and I was just so grateful and thankful to anyone who commented and subscribed or liked the video, whatever. Um, I, I'm just, <laughs> I was like, when I saw the first two subscribers, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe people subscribed. Um, so anyways, thank you so much. I'm just always so grateful to the people, especially on my Instagram. And you guys be all like, you're my favorite Gumpla builder. And I'm just like, stop it. I think one of the most common observations about my Gumpla builds is that they are clean. And I do take pride in that. The Black Sazabi is a kit I went the whole nine miles for. Now, however, I do believe in smart building. That means minimal input and maximum output. That just keeps the hobby fun. You put out more completed kits and avoid hobby burnout. This is especially important with a kit like the Mechanicor Ziggler, which came with four huge boxes of runners. Now, let me show you how I clean my Gumpla Numb Marks using only these two tools as compared to all of these tools. Let's go. Here are the completed parts from the last um, video. I forgot to show you that this can open up and it's really cool because these are all individual parts um, which I've decaled here, although you can't really see. The red dots you remember are painted and you can see a little bit of the details inside. And while you look at all these parts, I want you to really scrutinize where, whether you can see any leftover numb marks or gate marks uh-huh you also saw this this is why i love clear armor it's just you can see so well the details underneath it i think it's just so cool and this part is so crazy you can see the hand painted details it's so intricate like there are six etching, separate etching parts on both sides. So there's 12 etching parts on this. And there's just so many, it's made up of so many little parts. Like these are all separated. Um, it's just crazy. I just, I love that part. This was what I made in the tutorial. And this is another part. Very cool. The etching part is here. You can see there's an etching part inside. All the details are hand painted. All right, and um, I'm not gonna assemble these yet. I'm gonna do that maybe in the next vlog. Um, I just really want to get on to cutting the parts off of um, the next set of runners. There are still this many runners left. And you can see I've labeled the parts by just sticking on a piece of tape and using a permanent marker to label the parts easier to see because it's sticking out. Now let me show you the most standard by the book way to clean up the nut marks. I start by circling all the parts under the same runner in the manual for the arms and checking it off as I cut them off the gate. Fortunately, the Mechanicor Ziggler is mostly undergated, which means the attachment points of the gate is under the part and the numb mark won't be visible. However, there are still some parts like this one which are not undergated and will leave a visible numb mark. However, see here the undergated part. All you have to do is cut under the part right off. And you don't have to worry about it being a little bit messy. I sometimes use my fingers to scrape off extra parts. Now I'm using the God Hand nippers to cut off by levels. And this way you get a lot more of a clean cut without stress marks, which I'll show you later what I mean. If you don't have God Hand nippers because they're quite expensive, you can use really any cheap nippers. These are the Tamiya ones. And you see they don't cut as clean as the God Hand ones. And there's a little bit of protrusion or gate or numb mark here left and I use the art knife to cut off the excess because it'll be a little bit too much to try to sand that off.
Now I'm going to use a 400 sanding stick to start sanding. Some people sand using short strokes, some people sand using long strokes. It's really whatever you're comfortable with. It depends a bit on the part and how much you're trying to sand off. Now this is going to leave quite rough scratches on the part. So we will move on to a 600 sanding stick. Sanding in the same way in either long or short strokes. And you can see the 600 sanding stick makes the part a lot softer. Now with a 400 sponge sanding stick, I'm also going to sand it lightly a few more times. Very smooth. And that would be the last step using all of these tools. Can you imagine doing all that on a kit like this with four huge boxes of runners? That's like four PG kits. Now let's move on to the easy way that I normally use. When you're trying to save time or you're not looking for a perfect finish, you can really just use the gone hand nippers. See how clean cut that is? You don't need the art knife. You can see here there are no stress marks. It's pretty clean. Now I'm going to cut the other side in just one go without the layers or different levels of cuts. And see how there's a little white dot there? That's the stress mark. And that's what you want to avoid. That's why always cut off by layers. Now I'm going to finish off with a 600 sanding stick. Because I am painting the kit, the surfacer will soften the scratches and the reflection of the shiny metallic paint will make it hardly noticeable. The part on the left would be what you want for unpainted kits, but you don't need to go all the way if you'll be painting metallic. Smart building. Instead of following standard rules, you should understand and link your entire building process and save yourself time because trying to make every kit perfect can just become tiring. I tape up the little pieces on the side here just to make sure I don't lose them. Hey, Cookie. Hi. The resin kit is panel line. Hmm. Injection is done. Resin is done. Panel line is. I'm not doing it. But I'm doing it. 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 I'm 패널 라인 그 속으로 도로가 계속 침투되면서 층이 올라가기 때문에 패널 라인을 넣게 되면 그 부분이 좀 흐릿하게 나올 수가 있어요. 근데 메카닉은 아무래도 진하게 이 패널 라인이 잘 선명하게 들어가는 게 좋기 때문에 저는 이 라인 끝이랑 가능하면 손이랑 짧게 위치시키고 하는 게좀더 정확도가 높아지는 것 같아서 이 컵을 쓰게 되면 공간이 멀어지기 때문에 이 끝이랑 최대한 가까운 게 아무래도 좀더 미세하게 달만의 방법, 그 노하우 있으세요? 네. 이게 눕히게 되면 음. 소리가 잘안 나요. 음. 네, 이거는 제대로 파고 있는 게 아니에요. 음. 제대로 파고 있는 거는 각도를 세우고 파게 되면 음. 소리가 틀리죠. 음. 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 그리고 굉장히 잘 파지게 됩니다. 이렇게. 음. 이 끝보다는 손이 먼저 간다는 느낌, 그리고 라인은 뒤따라서 오는 느낌으로 가지는 게 좋아요. 그래서 끝을 먼저 이렇게 가는 게 아니라 이런 느낌, 손은 안 움직이고 끝을 가는 게 아니라 손이 먼저 가면서 나중에 끝이 나중에 따라온다는 느낌이 좋아요. 음... 이 철, 이 라인 이철 부분이 좀 휘어진다는 느낌이 탄력이 좀더 이렇게 느낄 수가 있어요. 그러면서 정확도가 좀더 높아지게 되는 예. 그런 방법이 있습니다. 네, 알겠습니다. 감사합니다. 이걸 어떻게, 영어를 어떻게 해석을 뭐, 잘 해봐야지. 자, bye! 다음에 봐요, 여러분. 기회 해주세요. This is our favorite cafe. Here where we live. Fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice. French toast. Fried rice and French toast. Yes. Very yummy. Enjoy. Oh no. Oh, 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 hot my oh, 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 French rice. <laughs> French. <laughs> wow. French rice. French toast. French toast. Okay. Ja, this is yum, yum cafe. Yum cafe. Wow. Seguo, Hamguo, honey. Wow. Temper. Oh. Cookie.
Cookie, Cookie and Sharon. Oh my god. All right, everyone, that's it for today's vlog. I've been really enjoying making these videos, and if you enjoyed them as much as I do, please like, subscribe, and do give me some comments too, because I'd like to know what you guys enjoyed, what you'd like to see more of, or if you have any ideas of videos for me. I'd like to hear from you. So until the next one.